Hello class, today we're going to start by talking about this worksheet, I Can Learn Neutral Colors. So neutral colors are those colors not found on the color wheel, but are made using colors from the color wheel. So they are found all over nature and especially on our bodies. So you'll notice we have a list of crayons here, sepia, mahogany, all these different, all these different colors, burnt sienna, tan, apricot, peach, white. So these are the kinds of colors that it takes for us to uh, draw our hair, our skin, um, other, and other things in nature. Now, a friend of mine got me this crayon box. It's colors of the world crayon. So it's 32 colors of mostly neutral colors. So if you look at the lid, though, that's what all the different colors look like. And a lot of neutral tones. And neutral colors are great because then if you use one intense color, it tends to pop out. So it's really kind of the neutral colors that make the bold colors stand out. So before we do this activity, so what you're going to do, of course, is using either crayons or paint or whatever your art supply of choice is, you're going to find the color of your hair, find the color of your skin, and find the color of your pet or your favorite animal. And so, and try to resist picking like a tiger or something that's got a bold color. Try to stick with the neutral colors. One other thing I want to talk about is a few artists who are famous for using neutral colors. So for instance, this painting uh, is called the Boulevard Montmartre. That's a famous street in Paris. Uh, and, and the artist's name is uh, Camille Pizarro. And so, and that's actually a guy. It kind of sounds like a woman's name, but it's not. So anyway, Camille Pizarro, as you can see, uses mostly neutral colors to create so much depth. Occasionally, you'll see a brighter color pop out here and there, but for the most part, he achieves uh, these uh, amazing landscapes using mostly neutral colors. Here's another artist famous for using neutral colors. Uh, his name is Amadeo Modigliani. So he's an Italian painter, and, um, and he uses a lot of neutral tones and you could also classify what he does as cool colors, which we're going to get to another time. But as you can see, he uses a lot of different shades, but it's mostly very um, muted tones. Like there aren't a lot of colors that pop out in this picture. Um, another, and he does a lot of portraits. And he also does some still lives. So moving on, here's another artist. Now, this artist is also known for using uh, a lot of bold colors. His name is Claude Monet. Uh, he's kind of famous for painting the same scene over and over again, but at different times of day. So, for instance, this, you can just see the light breaking. Uh, this is a painting that he did of the Houses of Parliament. And um, so you can almost just see a silhouette of the towers and you can see the sun breaking in the background. But, um, you know, as and this is also made up of a lot of pool tones, which we're going to talk about later. But as you can see, he uses mostly neutral colors. Now, here's another artist. This artist is named Georgia O'Keeffe. Um, she's an American artist, and she's uh, famous for painting a lot of the southwestern landscape, but also for painting flowers. So this particular flower is a black iris. And as you can see, she uses a lot of neutral uh, colors uh, to create her work. And finally, we're going to look at another picture by Claude Monet. Uh, this is called Waterloo Bridge. And this picture, you know, he does have a, he does have a few bold colors here and there, but, uh, but for the most part, his, um, the depth that's created and the atmosphere, you know, you can almost see a gentle mist over the, over the water and, um, and the factories in the background. So, um, but he uses almost completely neutral tones to achieve, to achieve this work. So that's all we're going to talk about with neutral colors. Uh, go ahead and do the activity. 
uh, enjoy yourself and have fun matching your skin tone because that can be a challenge.